So I am super excited for today's video. I used to watch these videos all the time when I was pregnant with my daughter. And as many of you guys know, I am pregnant with baby number two. We are having a baby boy. I am 26 weeks pregnant today and we are beyond excited to meet him. And as you can imagine, my husband and I have been going back and forth about baby names for the new addition to our family. And I can confidently say that we have settled on a first name and that's why I wanted to make this video to share with you guys some names that I love but will not be using and hopefully it will give you guys some inspiration for some names to use. I know that I always appreciate inspiration for creative baby names to use. My husband and I are very very particular when it comes to baby names. We have a couple of requirements when it comes to them. We want to make sure that they're easy to spell, easy to pronounce, not too long, not too complicated common but also not too crazy and out there so the names that I'm going to be sharing with you they all kind of fall within those parameters if you will and I think they're all great baby names and just because I don't mention a particular name doesn't mean that I don't like it I just wanted to narrow it down to my top five choices and hopefully you guys will find this inspiring because that's the whole point of this video and I just thought it would be really fun to make and I really hope you enjoy it before I hop into the video I quickly wanted to thank my partner for this video seed if you haven't heard about seed it's a daily symbiotic it's a prebiotic and probiotic in one it comes in an innovative capsule that makes sure that the bacteria gets all the way through your digestive system and does its job your gut is connected to pretty much every single system in your body so it is so so important to take care of your gut health and your gut immunity I know from past experience that if I'm not taking care of my gut, I start not feeling my best. And I have tried a lot of pre and probiotics and hands down seed is my favorite one and it is the most effective one that I've ever used. I also love that seed does not need to be refrigerated like a lot of other pre and probiotics out there. So it's very travel friendly, easy to use. You just take two capsules on an empty stomach first thing in the morning and you're good to go for the rest of the day. If you wanted to check out their welcome kit, it comes with a 30-day supply of seed and also this little travel vial which I don't leave home without if I'm going away for the weekend or if I'm traveling somewhere this always always goes with me and I also have a 15% off discount for you guys it's just my name Nikki Sky you enter it at checkout it'll get you 15% off your first order I'll leave all of that information on the screen here as well as in my description box down below okay so I'm gonna be sharing with you five baby boy names that I personally love but I will not be using. I just want to put out a disclaimer that just because I don't mention a name that you like or anything like that first of all doesn't mean that I don't like it I just wanted to narrow it down to like my top five and secondly please don't be offended we all have our own preferences likes and dislikes and there's nothing wrong with that this is just personally what my husband and I well this is mostly my top list my husband doesn't even like a couple of names on this list so it's nothing personal this is just a fun video that I wanted to make that will hopefully give you some ideas if you're also expecting and yeah I just wanted to have some fun with it so the first name that I personally love but will not be using is Lev so what I love about Lev is that it's easy to spell it's easy to pronounce it's really hard to misinterpret how to pronounce this name considering the spelling it's like very clear the reason why I won't be using it is because to me, I feel like Lev is a name that is maybe a little bit too uncommon. And the name that we ended up choosing for Baby Boy is a name that both my husband and I love a little bit more than Lev. And if you guys are wondering how you spell Lev, it's just L-E-V. I like that it's very short, simple. It's appropriate for when baby is small and also when baby is an adult. That's another requirement that's really, really important for us. I love like little cutesy names but you also have to think about your child when they're gonna be 
be an adult going out in the real world, you want to make sure that the name that you give them is something that can kind of adapt throughout their life. The second baby boy name that I really, really, really love, but we can't use for reasons that I will explain in a second is Zev. So Zev is very similar to Lev. It's spelled Z-E-V. Again, it's easy to spell, easy to pronounce. The reason why we're not going to be using it is because it's actually my husband's Hebrew name. It means wolf. So it's like a very powerful name. I think it's beautiful, but because it's already his Hebrew name, we decided to go with something that's different and more unique to our baby. And that's the reason we're not gonna be using Zev. The next name that I love is Levi. So Levi is a name that we're kind of going back and forth on. And the main reason why we're not gonna be using Levi is because it's a name that it's easy to spell, but it could be misinterpreted as Levi or Levi. And we didn't wanna cause that kind of confusion. It's spelled L-E-V-I. So as you can see, some people can read it as Levi, some people can read it as Levi. Also, one of my friends recently gave birth to a son and ended up naming him Levi. So obviously having two Levi's together would get a little bit confusing. So that's the main reason why we're not gonna be using Levi. Okay, so this next one, I really, really, really love, but my husband unfortunately is not a fan of. For that reason, we are not gonna be using the name Mateo. I think Mateo is just such a beautiful name. It's easy to spell. It's pretty easy to pronounce. If you ask me, it's spelled M-A-T-E-O. And I just, I don't know, there's something about that name that like tugs on my heartstrings and I think it's so beautiful. But unfortunately, if my husband is not on board, we're not gonna be using it because we promised each other that the name that we settle on is a name that we both have to love. And the last name that I really, really love but will not be using is Liam. Liam is a very, very popular name these days. I know quite a few Liams. I actually have a little nephew named Liam. So that's one of the main reasons I'm not going to be using Liam is because I already have a few Liams that are close in my life. But it's a name that's easy to spell. It's spelled L-I-A-M. It's easy to pronounce. I really like it. My husband also really likes it but the name that we chose is something that we think is more unique and more uncommon and we don't know anyone in our lives that has this particular name so that's why we settled on the name that we did so those are my top five my husband and I also decided that when naming our child the first name would be something that we just both genuinely love it wouldn't necessarily be a name that was named after some someone close in our family. So when we were naming our daughter, Ariella, it wasn't necessarily a name that was named after someone. It just happened to be that my husband's grandfather on his paternal side, his first name started with A and also my husband's father's name starts with A. So it kind of like worked out that way that Ariella was kind of named after those two significant people in his life. But we always said that the middle name of our children would be named after someone important in our lives. So Ari's middle name is Blake, named after my mom's mom, so my maternal grandmother. And that's very, very special to me. And if you guys have been following me for many years, you know that I had a very, very close relationship with my grandfather. He was like a second father to me. And he unfortunately passed away when Ari was just two months old. So I always told myself that if I ever had the privilege of having another child that the middle name would be after him. My grandfather's name was Joseph. So I am still searching for or trying to come up with a name that starts with a J for the middle name for baby boy because it would mean so much to me if his middle name was named after my grandfather that passed away. So if you guys have any ideas or suggestions of some like names that are unique that start with J but not too like 
crazy out there, I would really, really appreciate it. And you can leave your comments in the comment section below. Also, if you have any ideas of what you think Baby Boy's first name is, let me know in the comments because I always love reading your thoughts and ideas. Sometimes they're really, really funny and crack me up. So let me know in the comments below. So that's it for today's video. Again, I quickly wanted to remind you guys about my discount with Seed. This is a supplement that I truly cannot live without, especially during pregnancy. It has been such a life changer for me. And every time you guys report back to me and let me know how this has changed your life and how you feel less bloated and how you feel like your digestion is working so much better, your skin is clearer after using Seed, it just makes me so, so happy. So again, if you did want to check out Seed and take advantage of my 15% off discount, I'll leave all of the info on the screen here as well as in my description box down below. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and I will see you in my next one.